Bonjour. This is season 3, episode 9, I think. Yeah. Holy shit. Holy shit. This is... Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Uh, season 3 is insane. Who can live in a hot house the longest? This is, without a doubt, in my top 3 shows. Uh, in my 3 episode. Who can live in the hot house the longest? They, there's a haunted house... Uh, we got to see the two guys. Sandy believes in ghosts. Kenny doesn't believe in them. Uh, so Kenny goes to see his... Oh my god. Let's see this guy called Mysterion. And Mysterion has this very warped view of things. He helped Kenny cheat. And he, he, him and Kenny share some mentality. Some low morality. And it's kind of cool to see them interact. It's like two evil genius working together. He feeds Spencer Nolan Rice. Right? You got Spenny who's, who's afraid. And he hires... Um, Shaman to tell him how to fight up evil, how to protect himself. So again, you see that they're very different mentality that are showcased through the series, completely to the series. But I think it's really cool that we're getting to see this. I think it's really cool that we're seeing the characters still being the characters, still being themselves, right? Um, they go in the, um, the haunted house. The, the way they set up the show is fantastic. We got two like uh, people that are meet them I guess they can see or hear or feel spirits they tell Skinny and Benny don't go there we have a very cool moment where they tell the story of why this is called a haunted house it's a different voice and it's a narrator I think they set up the show perfectly they go into the house and uh oh my god the episode there's so many I want to talk about in this, this episode Kenny um following the advice right he takes like a bike he puts on a wire and make sure that Ken, Spenny is going to find the bike. Then he moves the bike. So the bike moves and Spenny believes that it's, it's haunted. Uh, Kenny makes noise. Kenny uh, dress up as a situation. And he's like, yo, I'm going to make him believe. Kenny is hilarious. He's, he pretend like he's one of the, he's like a, like um like a hate, right? And he's saying, oh, it's not my fault. The donkey got out of the, the, the barn. Spenny doesn't understand. I think it would be funnier if Spenny understood. But so... Spenny, he believes he, the whole episode is trying to find his stuff to ward off evil. It's super funny because in the beginning, Kenny insults the houses and he pretend like he's gonna make the spirits go mad, right? So Spenny is afraid because he said, "Oh, Kenny's gonna gonna make gonna give us trouble because if when they go after him, they're gonna come after me too." And um, oh my God, it's so cool. Kenny puts a a sh little girl shoes. In a place where they said that they could go. So the story behind the haunted uh, house is uh, there was a couple. They were really well respected. They couldn't have a kid, so they adopted the kid. The kid was looking too different. They hired the kid, and then um, the kid got killed, and that's the spirit of the house, right? So they put a little girl's shoes in a place uh, where it looks haunted. Skinny and uh, locks Benny in the dark. And it's amazing. At the very end, Spenny does thing, and he puts a handcuff and ties himself up. He said, "If I'm scared, just Spenny knew Kenny was gonna win, so he did the unthinkable and he locked himself in. So he's like, I'm gonna lose, but now I can't lose, right? So what happened is we hear a boom, and we take it because the whole episode uh, is about um, Kenny making the spirits mad. Kenny at the very end he makes a circle like a devil circle, and he's like. Wooty ra pira pam pam, and he creates a chant. And Finn is like, "Oh, you're crazy! You're gonna summon them." You hear a large boom. Everybody runs away because they believe that. Huh? And I think we all believe in hunted things. I just think that we're we're not willing to accept accept that there's ghosts. I don't know if there's ghosts. I don't care if there's ghosts. Uh, if there's ghosts, hey, what's up? If there's not ghosts, if there's ghosts, what's up? Subscribe, please. Click the like, comment below. Uh, if there's not, well, that's what that's the life. I, we'll never know. I don't think it's impactful. I, 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 you know, it's like alien. I don't, I will, I don't think we'll, I will know in my lifetime that there will be some. Is there some? Possibly. Um, but we'll never know. We'll never know. And, uh, that is one of the main thing. We'll never ever know. Uh, so we go to the episode and, uh, then we later learn that it's construction, right? And there's a beam that fell down that was made of noise. So yeah, so Spenny wins. Uh, the humiliation is... Uh, I didn't write the humiliation. I'm sorry. The humiliation is Kenya has to wear woman lingerie and parades in a boutique. It's a good humiliation, but it's a fucking alley that nobody visits. So who gives a shit? 
Well, the good try, I guess.